So what's the one thing you miss most about being on a low carb or keto diet? For my wife, that was margaritas. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today and show you how I ended up making a margarita mix, batch it out, super simple, just a few ingredients. Hey, stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you two other cocktail mixes every home bar should have, whether it's a low carb bar or not, every home bar should have these two mixes I'm gonna cover at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be our zero carb margarita mix. So what you're gonna need is something to kind of mix everything in. You're gonna need a simple syrup, um, whether we're gonna use monk fruit, allulose, whatever your sweetener choice is. Normally I would use allulose, but I'm out, so this is my monk fruit simple syrup. And I got a link to the video right here, and I also put it in the description as well. So we're gonna do eight ounces, one cup of our simple syrup. From here, one cup of lime juice. And using real lime, and if you've watched my substitution playlist, you've seen me talk about real lime. It's the closest tasting to fresh lime juice I can have, and it is zero grams of carbs um, per serving. So we're gonna do one cup of this. Now, and the last ingredient in this is gonna be orange. But with a margarita, you're gonna have your tequila, of course. Then you're gonna have your triple sec, which is orange liqueur and lime juice. That's it, a margarita is just three ingredients. Or, um, and that's it, a margarita is just three ingredients. Tequila, lime juice, and orange liqueur. So what we're gonna do is, um, to keep it low carb, we're just gonna use some orange extract uh, right here. And make sure you get the extract, not orange flavoring, because it will make a difference. Now in here I'm gonna do three teaspoons. Let me find my teaspoon. Three teaspoons of orange extract. This all came about from what I was doing prior to a single serve, uh, which would be um, simple syrup, lime juice, and a quarter teaspoon of orange extract would be in my single serve margaritas to make them low carb and keto friendly. So that's it really, that, that's all the ingredients you have. We'll stir that up a little bit. And let's get our bottle, the funnel, and that's it. Now you have a zero carb margarita mix. Now if you've tried some of the other ones out there, the Jose Cuervos or the Mr. And Mrs. T's or, or Skinny Mixes or anybody, and, and some of them are really good, but none of them taste like an authentic margarita to me. And I think my thing is, I think they're all missing an extra orange flavor in it. Definitely get the lime, definitely get the sweet, but I don't always get orange out of these bottled mixes. So that's kind of why we decided to make one of my own so that's kind of why I decided to make my own and put the orange flavor that a margarita should have, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. Just bottle this up. Oh, if you want, if you're not going to drink all of this right away, you know, it's going to be going on for a week or so. Go ahead and add a little bit of vodka, just as a preservative, just like you know, a half ounce or so, and that's it. And there you have your DIY zero carb margarita mix. This was uh, two cups, so 16 ounces. And the way the ratios come out is you'll do two ounces of tequila, two ounces of this. So you with 16 ounces, this will make eight margaritas. All right guys, so now, like I promised at the beginning of the video, we're gonna talk about some other mixers that you really need to have at your home bar. So I'm gonna put this, uh, let's go right here. So the next one, is gonna be one of my favorites. And that is a lime cordial. Lime cordial is a very, very versatile uh, cocktail syrup or mixer um, that you can use. You use it in vodka gimlets, gin gimlets, um, mom, daiquiris, my favorite cocktail, daiquiris, 
Any cocktail that calls for an equal ratio of simple syrup and lime juice, that's all a lime cordial is. You can find them at grocery stores, liquor stores. Uh, Rose's Lime Juice is one of the most popular brands. This is the same concept, just keeping it no carb. So with, the, with this one here, you're gonna need, uh, nope, wrong one. We're gonna go with four ounces or a half cup of our simple syrup. Again, this is my monk fruit simple syrup. And this is super easy. It's just one part, one part. And the reason I'm using only four ounces of each is because I have a, a eight ounce bottle I keep it in. I'm gonna do four ounces of our lime juice concentrate. Let's stir that up. Funnel and bottle once again. And that's how simple a zero carb lime cordial is. You can do this with fresh lime juice. And that's gonna give you about two grams of carbs per serving. Um, so, cause your limes will have uh, two and a half, well, two to two and a half grams of carbs per ounce. Um, again, this is gonna be kind of same ratio. This will be a two ounces of this mixed with two ounces of uh, rum or a vodka or a gin, um, how this works out here. So this size bottle would give you four cocktails. Again, zero grams of carbs. The next one's really easy and it's a, a staple in any home bar and that's sour mix. And people don't realize how easy it is to make a sour mix. So we're gonna start with something to mix everything in. And this is gonna be equal parts of lemon juice, lime juice, simple syrup. That's it. So for our lemon juice, we'll be using real lemon, lime juice, real lime, and our simple syrup right here. So now, because my bottle, again, is a eight ounce bottle, we'll be doing a third, of a, a third of a cup of each. So we'll do one third cup of lime juice. And there we go. One third cup of lemon juice. And then a third cup of the simple syrup. Again, use a sweetener of your choice. If you like stevia, go ahead and use a stevia syrup. Whatever it is that you like, just use that. And a third cup of simple syrup. Stir all that up. Just make sure it's all incorporated well. And if you wanted to keep this in the fridge a little bit longer than like a week or two, go ahead and again, add some vodka to this. Um, that'll act as a preservative. And there you have your sour mix. Okay, everybody. So these are the three mixers that I keep around my house at all time. Um, I'm gonna have to keep these separate until I get them labeled. All right, so our sour mix. Zero grams of carbs because I used a monk fruit with erythritol. That's a Lakanto brand. I guess you can take a look at that video. Um, so this is equal parts um, lime juice, lemon juice, and simple syrup. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite cocktail is and have you tried to make it low carb yet? All right, guys, that's it. Y'all have a great day because in a little while, I'll be having something from here and I'll be having a great day too. See y'all later.